Alrighty, you guys, welcome back to a brand new Big Cherry Retro React here on The Ankle. Hey, Ember. So, you guys, it's going to be an hour long one. I'm just going to say that right up front. <laughs> I mean, y'all know, y'all know, you see the length of the video when you click on the thumbnail. <laughs> it's going to be a long one. I can just feel it in my bones. Um, speaking of bones, Amberlynn is clickbaiting, broke my ankle. That's this very first video that we're going to take a look at. And then the following three videos after that are just a Life with Amberlynn three-parter. You know, I fucking love these you guys you know it oh my god <laughs> um but yeah i hope you guys are having a great day great start to your day or you know if it's already the evening congrats your day is over <laughs> um but yeah let me know what you guys think down in the comments below as always uh like and subscribe blah 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 truly do appreciate you guys coming on in let's dive right on in shall we Hello, everybody. Hey, Amber. Still in unwashed clothing with unwashed hair and unwashed body parts. I'm here with another question. So if you guys are new to my... Oh, my God. Oh, so this is what it is. Is this going to be the fucking bicycle story? Channel, what I do is I ask a question, I answer it, and I ask it again for you guys to leave your answer down in the comments below. And the reason why I do this is because... Like, I knew she didn't actually break her ankle at all during her YouTube period, so... Because I thoroughly enjoy reading your guys' Imagine if this was the first case of a dangling ankle comments and i kind of like to um interact with you guys so you guys have a reason to leave a comment down below and not only that i know some of you guys like to learn more about me so i figure this is a perfect way to do so and remember um my questions are very random they could be serious funny weird and all that type of jazz so here we go so the question for today is have you ever broken a bone if so, I actually never have. What happened? Um, and for me, I have broken a bone. Um, yeah, I bet, girl. I bet. You look brittle. I think I was in first grade, first or second, or th is this the story with the heels and the bike? Third, first, second, or third. One of them young, young years. Um, it was nighttime. My mom had these gray pair of high heel shoes yep. that I thoroughly enjoyed. Fucking, oh my God, her in this thoroughly. I thoroughly am gonna lose my fucking mind. To put on my feet and walk around in, even though they're way too huge for me. My mom had a pair of heels that I used to love to just like put on and walk around in. I don't know why. My dad hated it. Let me tell you what. <laughs> and, um, so I put those suckers on and next thing I knew, my mom and dad were like, hey, let's go get your guys' Halloween costumes. And. Oh. Obviously, it's. I thought it was you were going to call your brother in for dinner. Early next to Halloween, so I'm like super excited, and they're like, "Okay, go get your brother." Okay, there we go. My brother, we lived in a trailer park, was at the end of the trailer park with a. So third grade, that's like how old? Third grade, like seven or eight. I don't know if that's during the time period where she said she was actually with her parents or not. Each of his friends. and Y'all will know. I had to go get him. And I was wearing my mom's heels. And my bike was right next to me. And I was outside with those heels. Girl, oh my god. Why are we having to literally do like a pause in between every little uh, statement? So I was like, the smart thing to do is to hop on the bike with the heels and go get why the fuck would that be the smart thing you were a trailer park kid okay your feet should have been tough enough to ride your bike barefoot and that is absolutely no shade i grew up as a country kid okay 
my feet are not to sound like a fucking heathen. My feet are tough enough that like I can go walk across my gravel by from a young age, dude. I was going out in the dead of winter barefoot like girl when your country like you and i are yeah you you can do it barefoot my brother i was anxious and excited so i was like why not let's do it so i was pedaling my bike with my can you imagine having a nice dinner and then all of a sudden you gotta get up and go bring your hefty daughter to the er because she broke her leg I mean, any good parent would, obviously, but like, what an inconvenience. Heels, I went to go get them, da 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 da. And I was like, yo, bro. No, I did not talk like that back then. <laughs> Ew, I hope not. You probably did. You were probably trying to be cool. I was like, Tony. Tony. Let's go <clears throat> get our costumes. Da 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 da. He is about a year younger than me. He's like, all right, all right, I'll be there in a minute. And then he was like giving me hassle. Da, da, da. You would Cause you were probably like, no, you need to come now. You need to come. We're having dinner. You need to come right now. Imagine that. I'd You're gonna listen to me, Tony. His age, he'd be like, yes, costumes. But you know, he's playing it cool in front of his friends, even at a young age. Girl, <laughs> maybe he just didn't fucking give a shit. And so I guess he kind of upset me or something. Yeah, I'm sure. Let me guess, you threw a little temper tantrum in the middle of the trailer park uh, parking lot? So I was like huffing and puffing back to my um, my bike. And with the heels, I... Can you imagine how dumb she looked? I, I kind of like tripped over my bike with the... <laughs> Dude, imagine she just t tried telling off her brother and then goes and pulls a clumsy stunt like that. Oh, I bet the other kids laughed. I bet they did. Heels. It was the weirdest thing. And it hurt. Yeah, so weird. It's not like you're a clumsy fuck. Hurt. I was like, what in the world just happened? Like, I was literally in tears. Like, crying. Well, yeah, girl. That's usually what happens when people, especially little kids, break a bone. I don't know. Do we really think she broke it? I think maybe she sprained it, but... And I didn't know what to do. And my brother's playing with a bunch of little kids. They they really pay me no mind. So... <laughs> Goes to show how uh, well-liked Amberlynn was in the trailer park. I get on my bike to the best of my ability, and I cannot pedal with the foot that... Ow, girl, ew. ...is hurting really, really bad. And I'm like, what in the... Ew. It's like when a deer breaks its leg and it keeps trying to run. It's just the saddest fucking thing to watch, dude. Oh, my God. Got some horror stories from some of the hunters up in Vermont about a uh, deer and their legs. It all just happened. So I'm pedaling with one and it's like physically impossible. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, I bet. Better have hoped it was a uh, flat land. I arrive up to our house, which is the trailer, and I, I can't, I can't. I just fall off of my bike, and I am crying. And you see my grandma, which I miss dearly. She's in heaven now. Girl. Um, I see my grandma coming down the stairs, and then my mom, and they're, like, rushing. And then you see my dad, and they're like, oh, my God, oh, my God, what happened? And they take one look at my ankle. And I hear my dad go to my grandma, go get the car. And I'm like, oh God, what happened to me? So to make a very, very, very long, scary, scary for me since I was young, story short, um, I got to the hospital. I could not walk on that. Not at all. I got to the hospital, x-rays, found out I broke a bone. And um, I want to see... The X-ray, Amberlynn. <laughs> I had to lay there, get a cast built onto me. That yeah, girl, that's usually what happens. It was quite the experience. And I couldn't walk for a very long time. I couldn't use crutches because, yes, I was a chubby, um, young... She was too big. ...person. <laughs> and I couldn't hold myself on them. So I just couldn't walk for a very long time. <clears throat> so... That is my experience with um, breaking a bone, and 
It was quite the experience, and ever since then, I have not broken bones, but I have sprained bones. <laughs> so, you guys, I'm wondering, have you ever... She sounds so ridiculous. ...ever broken a bone? And no, I haven't. If so, what happened? Please let me know the story down in the comments below. I'd love to read it, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Well, that was stupid. Alrighty, guys, so here's part one of, um you know life with amberland this one is called let it snow today i am using sunny bright sun bliss sun kiss tamarind jesus christ what a fucking mouthful and mari gold fragrant ah the mari gold <laughs> and midnight oh please is this one a um what is it orchid exotics deep berry fragrant mist ah and I got would have been a nice two for two. I'm both from Victoria's Secret. So this is. There's no way those smell good mixed together, dude. My breakfast today. I'm gonna eat this clementine, and I'm splitting this in half because it's 360 calories. Jesus fuck. And that's kind of a lot. So for half of it is. Well, it's a lot when you don't do jack shit all day. Yeah, dog. Also, you notice how she hasn't been talking about her workout in a while. Huh, I wonder why that is. Amber Lynn, did you quit doing Just Dance every day already? 180, so me and my girlfriend are splitting this. I've never had it before, and I guess I'll let you guys know how it is. Girl, it probably ain't good. It's a power bar. It has oh 30G protein, and the flavor is chocolate brownie. There's 11 fat. Three 240 milligrams of sodium, dude. What the fuck? 150 milligrams of potassium? Girl, you don't need all that. 30 grams of sugar? Mm. 360 calories. 240 sodium. 34 carb. 30 sugar. That's high carbs, too. See, this is for someone that's working out. You're not doing shit. Less than one fiber. But I mean, it's really big. It is. So, for 30 protein, that's pretty amazing for people counting protein. Yeah, but for everyone else that's counting everything else, <laughs> it's pretty fucking bad. So, I took a little bite, as you can tell. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my god. Um, it's actually really good. It definitely tastes like there's protein in it. Like, kind of like those protein powder tastes. But it's not... That's how everything that's, like, protein tastes to me, dude. It all has that kind of just, like, weird chalkiness. Overwhelming. You can definitely taste the brownie. You taste the chocolate. And it's really, really good, so... Oh my god. That's all she fucking cares about is that it tastes like a fucking candy bar. I recommend it. I got it at Walmart. And like I said... Girl, that's where you get everything. I mean, you can split it in half. You can eat the whole thing. That's just up to you. Oh, thank you, Amber. Thank you for once again giving us permission to do whatever the fuck we want. So, I guess it's supposed to, like, be a super bad snowstorm. So, I'm, like, kind of excited. Well, of course you are, dude. You don't have to go out and do jack shit. They don't make your ass wake up at 4 o'clock in the fucking morning to go shovel the goddamn driveway. Um, there might be power outages or whatever it's called. That part I'm not excited for. Or whatever it's called. Yeah, you were right. So you. She's so dumb. Um. If that does happen, I won't be able to upload videos. Oh, no. <laughs> so that part I don't like. And I won't be able to go on YouTube. Oh, no, you poor thing. That part I don't like. So. Oh, so no wonder you don't leave the house, girl. You don't have a data plan. <laughs> I'm looking outside. No snow yet. I guess the snow is supposed to start at like 6 p.m. See, I enjoy snow because my whole life, mainly my whole life, I lived in California and there was no snow there. And if there was, we had to go in like the boondog like to find it meaning very far away so <laughs> girl you're going to tell me that in what was it arizona or fucking no arizona was with casey right 
you're going to tell me in fucking California, like, you were living close enough somewhere that you could drive and there would be snow? California is fucking huge, you guys. Like, <laughs> um, to actually live somewhere where snow is falling on your head, like, it's just so cool. Like, I think snow is so, so crazy. So beautiful. Um, yeah, but you don't have to deal with it. That's the thing. Like, I agree, it is gorgeous, but having to deal with snow, uh, not gorgeous. But it's supposed to happen for like 24 hours, and I guess they're supposed to be like 10 inches. So that. <laughs> well, you know about 10 inches, Amberlynn. Makes me worried. Like, Friday, we're supposed to go out, and we live on a very high hill. <laughs> She's worried that the snow's going to stop her from being able to go eat. Oh, girl, you'll be fine. Don't worry. I've never showed you guys. For some reason, our, um, to, like, our, how do you explain that? To get into the house, you have to walk on a high hill. I don't know how to explain it. I'll girl. I'll show you guys sometime. But, um. And she's also worried she's going to slip and bust her ass. So clearly, clearly, if you know, it was, if it was snowing and stuff, we don't leave the house because of that. Because we'd slide down the hill and we wouldn't be able to come back up. The girl, I mean, you could walk in the snow up the hill. Or would not come back up that hill. So it's like a predicament that sucks. But um, I y'all live in fucking Virginia, West Virginia, whatever. You can deal with snow, okay? Like. Calm down. Just hope that, you know. It's not like you're down in fucking Texas where they get half an inch and the entire state shuts down. That's no shade. I understand y'all aren't very used to it, but like. We can have crazy beautiful snow, but then when Friday rolls along, when it's time for us to do our thing, that the snow is kind of being nice to us <laughs> so why does it fucking matter to you oh that's right just because she wants to go out and eat oh i hope it snows and it's crazy it's supposed to start tonight at 6 p.m so that's kind of like while we're while it's nighttime so i hate that i hate that how's that why is that like crazy to you girl <laughs> it can snow during the night too the fuck like it never snows during the day it's like karma or something even though i didn't i mean maybe do anything wrong <laughs> i mean i don't know girl maybe you're speaking from a guilty conscience <laughs> but yeah um yeah so I just chit chatting about the snow Fucking Monks, dumb. what are you doing did you just finish eating you just finish eating the big boy and the big girl. There's hardly enough room for the both of y'all on that fucking couch. Oh, okay. Let's relax now. <laughs> if you're wondering why the steam cleaner is in here, it's because Monkey sometimes has to go potty when someone's sleeping, and he doesn't know how to wake us up. To Well, no, girl. It's because you sleep all fucking day. Okay. You sleep all day when this dog works on the schedule of probably her parents. So he probably has to go to the bathroom in the morning. And I'm sure her parents probably do end up letting him out. But Amber, you're not waking up until 3 or 4 in the afternoon. Those animals, well, the dog, is going to need to go to the bathroom multiple times. Do that. Um... And if he dared to go and fucking try to wake your ass up, oh my god. I cannot imagine the wrath that would be unleashed on poor Monkey. Monkey, you gotta bark, okay? You gotta learn how to bark to us and let us know you gotta go potties. No, you need to be a more responsible adult. How about that? Okay, because Goo is actually very, like, good about not bothering me even if he wants something or needs something like there's a be been a few times where i've slept in and as long as i don't get up he will not bug me to go outside he will not bug me for food nothing but like just because they're not bugging you doesn't mean that they don't have to do it dude oh my god yeah he's ignoring you he was 
looking at me and he was like putting his paw up so we could like you know like handshake he likes that and as soon as i turned the camera towards him he moved his face yeah, he that like is you. funny that is funny <sighs> you know what would be funny you getting a job i know it's not a mess that's monkey's toy Oh. Oh, he is so adorable. Oh, you sitting up? Oh, there you go. Oh, it's a baby. It's okay. That's um, monkey's toy. And yeah, let's just go back to completely ignoring him. Crystal's mom's duffel bag. Who the fuck was asking, bitch? Oh my god. For like when she goes to the gym and stuff. Yeah, which you don't. So that's kind of our living room from where I'm s Our? Our? Fucking Christ, mate. Fucking Christ. It's more... Pro if there was a ghost there, it would be more its house than yours, bitch. Oh my god. You guys can't really see it, but... I guess I could show you... No, that wouldn't make sense. Wait, hold on. So right now I'm sitting by this window. Whoa! which is this couch. And this is like the wine room. They have so much wine and like alcohol. And stuff. Jesus fucking Christ. And let me guess, Amber dips into that probably a fucking lot. Oh. That's why you be acting such a fucking idiot. Okay. <laughs> and then that's the living room out there. Oh, we have our vacuum in there too, that's funny. Wow, so funny. Maybe it was um, Crystal's parents' way of saying, here, why don't you girls fucking do something today? So if you're ever wondering where I'm sitting, that's why I'm sitting right here in the wine room. I don't care, girl. And then the kitchen is right there. Wow. And there's another way to get into the kitchen, which is through that way. Like, Oh, my God. So, on the other side. Okay, girl. Why am I telling you this? Because you're fucking bored, dude. You need to get a life. I have no idea. Yeah, so anyway, I talked yeah, anyway. about the most random. Sorry, she's just like pissing me off. And I show you guys the most random stuff. <laughs> I wonder why I get views on my vlogs. Yeah, I'm wondering too. Like, who wants to watch me talk about the most random stuff? I don't know. I don't know either, girl. I have no fucking clue. Although, it was pretty early on that you already showed that you were kind of a mess. So, I think that's more so why people were joining along and then just the occasional, like, well-intentioned person that saw hope in this girl. But after 10 years, ugh, dude... She has beaten the hope out of me. Definitely a random person. Like, I could talk about literally this fuzzball on the couch. Right? Yeah, why don't you fucking do it? I'm sure you're going to. Here. Yeah, about that. By the way, I just filmed my way in. Um... By the time this goes up, you guys already know what happened, but I was down 2.6. Yay! Yeah, that was scary. Um, I still don't believe it. I still think that scale's broken. Very happy with that. Um, The only issue I'm having... Okay, not an issue, but... um, My cheat day was on Friday. <laughs> oh, boy. And that kind of scares me. I mean, yeah, I bet, girl, you're going to do some fucking damage. Don't get me wrong. I, I need these cheat days because... You, I mean, you don't because you allow yourself plenty uh, here and there to slip up. So, no, I don't think you do, girl. These cheat days prevent me from messing up any other day. Why does she say these cheat days as if she hasn't already done two and they weren't even a full fucking month apart from each other? She literally is doing... She did one in the last few weeks 
of uh, January, and now she's doing it in the first few weeks of February. So she didn't fucking even wait a month, dude. And I feel like that's very important for me because I can tell you one thing. Without these sure, girl. cheat days, I... <sighs> I would not be where I am. Okay, so do it more than two weeks apart. <laughs> no. So I'm just saying right now that, <laughs> you guys, it's either one cheat day or a bunch. So. I don't fucking care, dude. I don't care. Look at where it gotcha. I think one cheat day is great. Um, <laughs> I'm sure you do. So. <sighs> listen to the house fucking creak, my guy. We'll see what happens. We'll see. I mean, I'm still going to do my cheat day no matter what. But it's like... Yeah, come hell or high water, you're going to fucking get those calories in. Will I gain weight? A lot of weight? Probably. It's kind of what you do. It's an overall weekly thing. I shouldn't be worrying too much about it. But I still get, like, kind of... I don't know. Nervous when a cheat day comes along. Yes, it's only... Once a month. So many of you disagree with it, but it's funny. Well, I mean, so already she was getting a lot of pushback. <laughs> Go figure. It's The reason why it's funny is because my, like, famous... Because you think everyone else is wrong saying, and you're right. ...is that everyone's journey is different. And, I mean, I... I could, if I disagreed with you guys about something, I wouldn't, like, make it known because I feel like... Oh, please. Please, girl. You constantly fucking tell people all the time that you disagree with them. Shut up. Like... This is just you trying to manipulate people into being like, oh, you're right, Amberlynn. We, we shouldn't tell you when we disagree. We should only tell you when we agree with you. That's what you need, girl, is only ass-kissing. Everyone needs to do their own thing. Um, and when your own thing is, you know... Okay, so... Oh, my God. Respectfully, if everyone is just going to do their own thing, then can't you see that them doing their own thing is them letting you know that they personally wouldn't do that? Whatever. Whatever. You know, who cares about other people's opinion, blah, blah, blah. That cliche bullshit. But, like, it's true, though. <laughs> happening kind of you know make your video and let it show and give people ideas and give the people ideas my idea thoroughly is what okay you're just throwing that word out so you can sound like fucking smart or some shit dude is that like the biggest word you fucking know why are we using it incorrectly everyone needs a day once a month, once every six months, I don't care. But everyone needs a day where they kind of just are normal. Normal? Girl, you... <laughs> if that's your normal, then no wonder you got to uh, nearly 400 pounds. And you're not sitting there being completely scientific at the dinner table with the calories because <sighs> it really don't seem like you have been though it's overwhelming to count calories to begin with but i'll stop my preaching now because will you um uh, no not many people understand what i mean oh boo fucking who i can't stand it when anyone and i mean anyone doesn't mean just amber lynn does the whole uh, no one understands me dog you are not that fucking special i promise you that and i mean that in the most loving way i when i say you are not special i mean that with love i do and a lot of people just might not want to hear that but isn't that the beautiful thing in life no one is special who gives a fuck live your life <laughs> When I talk about how I really do need one cheat day a month, it just it really helps me keep me on track because if I see um, something in this house that like say Crystal's parents bought, oh, here's a good example. <laughs> 
She's like, let me just look around real quick. I'll find something. <laughs> Here's a great example. Oh, God, girl. If you're going touching their fucking food, you better be paying them back. These Oreos. Oh, we know she likes those. Those look good. They're fudge cream Oreos coconut delight. Mm-hmm, why not Okay, so... What the fuck was that? That was scary. <laughs> um, since we've had those, I've had one. One little one. And that Yeah, I'm sure. That was 75 calories. I marked it down and called it a day. I <laughs> yeah, I bet. I put it on my fitness pal and called it a day. And that was like, what, five days ago? More than that, probably. And... If I didn't have this cheat day coming up. You would have gone and eaten someone else's food that they bought for themselves. Yeah, of course you would have. I would have eaten a lot more of those. There's no doubt about it. They're I've said it before and y'all get mad at me. But when I say that Amber Lynn is fat fuck energy personified, I mean it. Okay. She is Every stereotype, every negative stereotype that is out there about larger people, obese people, Amber Lynn is that. She perpetuates every single one. And most obese people that I know and me myself when I was a lot larger, we actively think about those things and we actively work against it to not per be like a portrayal of those stereotypes. And Amber Lynn's just sitting here like the biggest prime fucking example of them all. There is no doubt about it because when I look at those Oreos, I think of my cheat day and I say, why don't I? I'll just wait. I just have an Oreo on that day because sometimes I feel like 75 calories for that Oreo is just not worth it. So I just don't do it. And then when the cheat day comes along. But you did do it. I bet you so much money I'll look at those Oreos and still not touch one. <laughs> Girl, I highly fucking doubt that. Because, sorry. Oh, thank God it cut Crystal's off. Crystal's dad called, so it stopped the video. But what I was saying was. Oh, it wasn't James. James Z didn't call you. On his lunch break, Jane Z called me. <laughs> she has like a weird kind of obsession with Crystal's dad. Um, when fatter day or cheat day comes. Fatter day, Jesus Christ. Um, I'll be like staring down those Oreos so much during my regular days that I'll look at it during a cheat day and be like, screw it, pretty much. So, all right, I got to clean up this cat food and dog food but my overall story overall. that i want to get out is that cheat days work for me okay girl i think we've f you've told us that plenty by now okay i personally don't think they work for you but whatever you're in your delusional little state and, i'll let you be and you know you guys might not think they work for you um, but I see a lot of times that people are out to dinner or something like that. And then they, they kind of like show their struggles of not choosing, um, down the wrong road and people. What? Can you think of like what you're going to fucking say before you say it, dude? Sit there and they say. This is literally her just talking literally feels like Michael Scott talking to me, dude. Like, what was that line in one of the episodes where he was like, most of the time, I don't know where my sentences are going. <laughs> like, literally, that's Amber Lynn. Oh, why don't I just, you know, eat processed food? I can still lose weight. Or why don't I? Yeah, clearly. I um just mess up. Da, da, da. And I feel like having that mind frame, eventually, it's going to kick you in the butt. Because... Yeah, has it? Because... When you eat in moderation, you don't... She knows from experience. <laughs> ...have those thoughts. You carry on your life completely normal with... 
Girl, it's been like one fucking week. Can you chill out? You know, 85% healthy, and then at the end of the night, you know, treat yourself. Now I'm yeah, just what you need. I'm rambling, and I talk about this and preach it all the time, and I should just stop. You should. You really should, because, like, look at the preacher. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck? No offense, but, like, I'm not going to go to a sermon that's presented by, like, fucking Charles Manson. You know, my guy? <laughs> we got to look at the credibility of the speaker. Stop in the name of love. Please stop. Before you break my heart. Ew. All right, now that is what you call scary and that is what you call Amberlynn. Shut the f up. Mm. Please. Please. Mm. Yep. Probably losing followers from all that. Mm -hmm. Girl. Oh my god. Oh my god. She is climbing up Cringe Mountain. Oh yeah. I'm looking mighty good in this dark. Mm. You look best when there is zero visibility. Yeah, I'll agree with you on that, girl. All right. Uh, uh, all right, everybody. <laughs> yeah, I'm redoing this one. All right, everybody. This is um, the first part of my vlog. There will be a second part, so don't forget to watch it. We're only on the third video. Oh, oh my God. This one's nearly 14 minutes. Fucking A. Alrighty, guys. Let's dive on in, shall we? Come on, monks. Let's go upstairs. Okay, so... Why you gotta go upstairs? I'm about to go upstairs. Looking outside. Everything's looking... Oh. Like... Thanks. You guys can tell. Everything's looking... Normal. No snow. Incredible. So, um, monks, let's go upstairs. <sighs> it's gonna Did you let the dog out? So you obviously didn't let the dog out after he, you know, soiled the carpet. It'll be dark and I'm walking upstairs. You guys are going to hear me huff and puff, so be warned. Oh, wonderful. So his dad just called. Wondered if we need anything from the store because, whoa, it's dark. He thinks... The power is gonna go out, so that's annoying. <laughs> um, Why is that annoying? He's just trying to be helpful. I really hope it doesn't because I don't know. I wouldn't be able to upload videos. Yeah, that's the important thing. Or anything. Come on, monkey. And that upsets me. Hold on. Ringo's. Oh. Ringo. Where the fuck is Crystal? We're washing our pillowcases and stuff. So that's what. Uh, I think Crystal is. You're not. That looks like so. Ringo. <laughs> Guess I'll let her be in here. But, um. So, God, you guys. If you don't see my videos up today. That's why. So. I have no idea if she got these uploaded same day or not. I mean, this one is called power outage, but I don't think, I don't know. Power really might go out. And I used to hate, I mean, y'all know, I hate the dark. So when the power would go out, my worst fucking nightmare. And homegirl. I wouldn't be able to fall. If I fell asleep before the power went out, perfectly fine. But if I woke up in the middle of the night, oh, terrifying. Especially like before cell phones, terrifying. But if the power went out before I fell asleep, then I'd be up until the power came back. Don't play like that. Like I'm literally terrified when the power goes out, especially at nighttime. Well, duh. I don't care during the day. <laughs> Okay, that was scary. <laughs> I'm so weird. Oh my god, can you stop fucking saying it? So...
think of it like this. It's like legit 15 degrees outside. If the power goes out, we're all going to turn into icicles pretty much. Well, no, but you better stay warm. We're all going to be popsicles. <laughs> yeah, definitely not putting this clip up. Well, you fucking did. What the fuck? Amberlynn stealing other people's content. This is not transformative. He don't give a fuck. What is that? What is that, Mom? Is that doggies in the laptop? Oh, you don't like that noise? Okay, hold on. He Aww. just wants pets. Oh, don't you worry. I'm taking care of you. Girl, please, you let him piss all over the fucking floor. Look at your fat chin. Yeah, look at yours. Look at that. What is that right there? Oh, stretch it out. Make it look smaller, huh? What is all- Yeah, like you and your videos nowadays? This extra- What is all this extra stuff? What is a big tummy for, huh? Well, it's all your fault, my guy. <laughs> Oh boy. Hey man. How's it boy? Oh, 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 oh. She is so annoying. Right. He ain't messing around right now. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? You feeling lazy? <laughs> Monkey. Oh, boom! Oh, it's a boom! <laughs> oh. You try Girl, why don't you help him? You pushed him over like that. Why don't you help him back up? <laughs> oh, poor monkey. Oh, I don't like this. Get up and leave her. <laughs> oh, now we have to sit here and fucking rewatch your abuse? No, thank you. No, thank you. I don't do this often, guys, but we're gonna skip. I'm not fucking sitting here watching her abuse the dog some more. And I'm not gonna make you guys sit through that. That's fucking vile. Since, um, a couple hours ago... It's supposed to start snowing at six. It's five now, so. She's looking for that snow like she looks for her DoorDash uh, delivery driver nowadays. Still no snow. So, oh God. Watch, if there's no snow, I bet you she's gonna be calling the weatherman a fucking idiot by morning. I want the snow. She probably will be if there's no snow by six. But I don't want the power to go out. Oh, the predicament. Why don't you try saying that word again, girl? Just what you need. How's this not a fucking fatter day? You're having KFC. It looks like KFC. Oh, but she had some carrots at least. So, as you all probably saw, my, um... Food was from KFC. Yeah. But yes, I did eat. I had that one piece of meat and I had one piece of meat, chicken. I had um a third of a wait, two thirds of a serving of the potato wedges, and then I didn't eat anything else on the table, and I decided to have carrots from my own fridge. Normally when she gets when my own fridge, what? my girlfriend's parents get kfc i will literally eat like three pieces of meat almost the whole thing of potato wedges myself because i like them that much girl yeah well fuck all if anyone else wants some i'd have mashed potatoes those things are big potatoes i'd have the little biscuit i'd have the um KFC mac and cheese fucking slaps, yo. Uh, lots of the macaroni and cheese. That's like one of my favorites. Girl, why do you have to go all out? Like, 
on other people's dime. Like, if anything, that should be the one fucking thing that keeps you restrained is that you need to be grateful and appreciative because it's these complete strangers that are paying for all this for you. And, um... I would just continue eating it all, like, sitting there. I'm sure. Thinking. I'm counting calories. Oh, girl, bye. <laughs> but I said no to everything besides that the portion I did choose for myself. I am very proud of myself. I am under... Sure, girl. Sure. Let's see if you can last the night. <laughs> Although, if the power goes out, Amber Lynn can't be snooping through the fridge. My calories. I still have dinner for later and... Oh, fucking great. ...snack plan for later. And I'm just very, <coughs> very proud of myself. Many of you would be like, okay, you shouldn't have ate that anyway. No. This is my... <laughs> ...journey. And... Who fucking cares? Look where I got you. What I ate is an amazing accomplishment. And nobody is going to take that away from me. I'm very proud of myself. Girl, you're always fucking proud of yourself. Always. Fucking always. There has never been a time where you have not been proud of yourself. So shut up. So it's dark outside, but the snow has started. So I can't really show you. I guess I could show you if I turn on the light. Oh, God. Oh, wait. That's not the light. That's the wrong light. Mm -hmm. See, you can't even really see it. No, bummer. <coughs> kind of can, but... See, this is a moment in my life when I wish it would snow during the freaking daytime. <sighs> but yeah, it started. It's six o'clock. It started like 10 minutes ago. So they were a little, little late on guessing, but. <laughs> Those fucking idiots. So it's official. It's snowing. So I normally upload my video at about midnight. But, um. That's fucking stupid. <laughs> It's six right now, and the power might go out, and dee 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 doo da. So I'm gonna upload my first part, and uh, we'll see. We'll see when I'll upload this one because I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. I guess. We'll just see, but my first part's going up now, which is a lot different timing than normal. But anyways, kind of just felt like saying that. Incredible. So my girlfriend's mom gets like four birch boxes or oh my god is this where it fucking started whatever they're called um each month <clears throat> four dude that's expensive that's expensive what the fuck and normally she gives me like the little perfume samples out of it just because i like perfume and i think everyone knows that um no it's because you need it <laughs> and i usually end up giving those to my girlfriend because i'm nice and we usually share the little you're so nice samples so but um she got this in it look how pretty. looks ugly it's a um ruby and wing color changing polish oh Oh. I didn't know that. I didn't see that part. I'm sure you didn't. Yeah. And it's called <laughs> Ride 'em Cowgirl. Interesting. Why don't you put it on? But um color changing polish. I don't know what that means. But anyways. Look how pretty. Okay. Gosh, it's just so pretty. Um, Gosh. But I put, remember I told you guys yesterday in my vlog that I plan on painting my nails all red besides um, this finger on both sides. Yes, I have a boo boo. And um, I want to put gold. Dude, she's literally a child. Gold. And I have gold. And then I saw this. So I was like, hmm, maybe I'll use that. So we'll see. But I just kind of wanted to show you guys. Well, if it like color shifts to red, that would work. That it's so pretty. And the fact that it's it's called Mini Ridem Cowgirl. Uh, <laughs> Girl. Uh, I just thought it was funny. And I'm definitely not a cowgirl. Well, uh, cow dash girl. And I definitely don't ride them. You would kill that poor creature. I have no idea what I'm talking about. 
But anyways, I think I might just try it on one of my fingers right now and see what happens. Oh, good lord. <laughs> what a fucking angle this is, girly. What the fuck? You look like a troll's doll. So this is a fun view. Again, the clicking is my girlfriend. Oh, wow. Thank you. Thank you. I thought it was monkey filing your taxes for the year. And this is my blanket. I'm sure you guys know that by now. So. That's how it looks. What I've come to realize with glittery ones is you have to kind of layer them on a little bit thick. The fact that I'm doing this on my laptop freaks me out. You guys are currently on my laptop sitting. Okay, I don't care. Just get it done with. And so is my nail polish, and that's scary. So I'm going to do it on this finger. Girl, it also doesn't help that you have, like, the fingernails of an 11-year-old boy that chews them. Sorry, I'm sure I just made a very weird face. Okay, it's that type. It's that type. That's kind of cool. Maybe I could put this... Oh, you know what I could do? I could put this over the red nail polish. Well, girl, you probably should use multiple layers of it. Because look. Are you laughing at me right now? She's legit smiling and laughing at me right now. This is how it looks. Yeah, like trash, because you need to do multiple layers. I don't know if you guys can really see it, but what it is, what it does, is it's like, it's not like a full coat, if that makes sense. It's just... Because you only did one coat. Random little sparkles throughout your finger. So, like, you could put it over any color, and it would be the color... Plus like the well that too but you could also just do more layers spark the gold sparkles on it if that makes sense so i think i'm definitely going to use this over the red nail polish that's going to be so pretty but i'm not sure so pretty sure what it means literally looks like little kids doing their nails about the color changing polish i don't know Maybe that's because it can go over any color, so it's like a, that nail polish is technically any color. No, girl. No. <laughs> You're so dumb. Plus the gold. I see what they did there. You no, know, you don't see shit, dude. <laughs> the fuck? Yeah, that was weird. It's stupid. Anyways, I think it's really pretty. Also, clean your fucking piercing, dude. That little wart next to it. Disgusting. Austin. I'm gonna have to take it off though right now. But anyways, I kind of. Why don't you do an layer of it and see how that looks? Just wanted to show you guys that, and if you guys like it, again, it's called Ruby and Wing, and I'm not sure where you can buy it, but I don't fucking care. I'm sure you can find it somewhere, somewhere in this world. All right, you guys, I already wiped it off. <laughs> Because I plan on doing it all from scratch tomorrow. But, um, I... What's the fucking difference? I just want to say that, um, I'm going to upload this video now. My first part is already up. Um, it's quite early. But, um, I need to do this just in case the power outage happens. So, um... Yeah, you just have to. There will be a third part. But whether you see it tonight or tomorrow or even Friday, I don't know. So we will see what happens, but I want to get this first part and the second part up right now so you guys can see that and kind of understand the whole spiel of what's happening. Incredible. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and make sure you see my third part whenever it's up. <laughs> Alrighty, fucking A. Another 14 minute long video. We're already on an hour, I hate my life. Okay, well anyways guys, this one is called No Depriving, which once again, why are we having to fucking talk about it, girl? We know you're not gonna deprive yourself, everything in moderation. <laughs> uh, let's just get this over with, guys. I wanna go to bed. Welcome to the third part of my vlog for today. Wonderful. Whew, honestly can't believe another third part. Um... That shows that I'm talking too much. Yes, yes, thank you. Oh my god, finally. That's exactly what that shows. 
So the only way I can look outside in the dark is if I turn the light off. So that's why I'm dark right now. Sure, girl. Alrighty, guys, and we're back. I had to jump off to film the reaction to her newest video. So, yeah, fun. Um, whatever. <laughs> I completely forgot what I was talking about and where I was, so let's just dive back in here, I guess. And I'm nervous because I still want to be able to go on Friday to do, you know. Oh, that's right. She's afraid that the snow is going to get in her way of being able to go out and eat. My plans, so. You know, the only sad thing about Friday, actually, is the fact that my girlfriend's dad was going to go. Like, he was going to go out to eat with his wife because it's Valentine's Day. But he might have to work, and it's just sad. Oh, like you care. That he's not going to be able to go with us. Too much work in that he does, but... Yeah. Well, Jesus, dude, someone's got to fucking be able to afford your ass. Oh, oh well. He said that um, they'll probably go out to eat on Saturday or something, and I hope they do. I hope they get to do something, because I know they've been together for a really long time, but still, Valentine's Day's fun. To Girl... <laughs> Yeah, just because they've been together doesn't mean they can't go have a nice time. If anything, I would rather go out the weekend after Thanksgiving because it's going to be a lot less busy. You know, kind of have an excuse to, you know, spoil the one you love. Even though, like, my girlfriend's sweet to me every single day and Girl. spoils me in her own ways every single day. Yeah. As I do her, but you Girl, please. You get way more out of this relationship than she does. Be so fucking for real. No, it's so fun. Valentine Day Valentine's Day is definitely the day, you know. To use it as an excuse and to go overboard or whatever. So, um, yeah. I hear someone out there already shoveling. Oh. But what is the point of shoveling if it's just gonna be it's getting thick. But what's the point of shoveling if it's just going to snow? I mean, less you got to do in the morning. Or <laughs> Amber wouldn't understand the nuances to shoveling snow because the girl has never had to do it. So I'm about to start making my dinner. Oh, wonderful. I want to check the snow first. <laughs> Okay, that was weird. I've noticed I've been calling myself weird lately. Do no way. I'm gonna kick your butt, Charlie, if you think about it. All right. It's a fallen. Mm. Really? Someone was shoveling that? Okay. It's so pretty. It's so calming, too. I want to go in it. So, yeah. Definitely snowed. So, this is what's going to be in Incredible. my salad for today. Typical organic baby spinach. Organic. My typical balsamic vinaigrette dressing. Typical. At least she actually pronounced balsamic correctly. Which I am running. Or balsamic. It's not balsamic. Fuck. Out of, and I've only been able to find it at Walmart, so I'm kind of sad because we don't go to Walmart as much as we used to, so I might have to make a pit stop. Girl, that looks like a Walmart brand. There one day, <laughs> and fat-free traditional feta cheese, and I'm going to be cutting up one of these and putting it inside as well. Yeah. It's a spice. I mean, I those are, I... I'm not a huge fan of black bean burgers. I'll be so for real with you guys. Like, I have to be in the mood for it because it's such a specific taste. You can't just put a black bean burger on any type of burger. The black bean. In my opinion. Burger. It's actually vegetarian. So it's all veggies. Yeah, girl. We got that. No meat. We get it. It is 120 calories. 11 protein you guys can't see it sorry <laughs> 11 protein she doesn't know what grams is 
um, for fat. But yeah, I really like these. My favorite one that they make is the uh, Mediterranean chickpea. That one's really good. But um, I used to eat these all. I don't know if I've heard of that one. Time, but I don't eat them as much as I used to. So. I literally haven't had one for months, so I figured I'd eat one. Oh, for months. So long. And put it in my salad because it sounds good. <laughs> I mean, I guess if that's all you're going to eat. Ew, I hope she actually, like, heated it up. Like, cooked in a pan, not microwaved it. It's just going to be mush. She has to... Dare directly at fucking Crystal while she's eating. It's kind of creepy. So I had a very small oh, yeah, there we go. dinner. I'm not sure why. So my snack is this. And then way later tonight when I feel hungry, I'll probably have a sweet thing because that's what I always do. Mm -hmm. But this is just a Parmesan cheddar trail mix. Ew. Clementine. And a peach apple moths medleys. I know yeah, I'm not a fan of peach. A lot of people who eat these instead of fruit and their uh. nutritionists and stuff actually tell them crystal. Girl, she's trying to fucking clean up your mess. I'm sure. Okay. Can you not yell at her in her own fucking home? <laughs> And their nutritionists and stuff tell them that that's perfectly okay because... Mm, maybe for like elderly people, dude, but you're a fucking adult. I guess the ingredients is pretty much just exactly what you think it is. No, you, if anything, you can get some unsweetened like applesauce. I'm sure that's probably a good way. But like this has so... It says peach apple flavored. Like... Fuck out of here. In here, um, apples, water, carrot juice, um, cucumber juice, and certain things like that. Fruit and vegetable juice. There's a lot of like too many things in there, and it's a lot of extra sugar. So it's nothing like horrible. You're not getting all the beneficial fiber though, and whatnot. But um, I don't really like stuff like this, mainly because of texture. But I figured I'd try it on. Uh, I used to love those little fucking like go-go apple squeeze things. Oh my god. I would eat those in high school. I don't give a fuck. I love applesauce. Even today I'll still eat it. Camera just to see what I really really think. So here we go. Okay so just to tell you guys that these come in a bunch of different flavors. But I thought peach apple sounded the best so. Mm. I like the strawberry. For anyone who doesn't like processed food, I would not consider this a processed food. Girl, what? It is. It is, okay? It's mixed with a bunch of different juices of things that you wouldn't be having with that. And it's probably got a bunch of added sugars and preservatives in it, girl. Yes, it's fucking processed. Oh, my God. Because if you look at the ingredients, like... Because oh, if you look at the ingredients... It's okay. Amber, if there's one ingredient on there that you can't pronounce, then it's not <laughs> what you think it is. It's okay, you guys. It's okay. So here we go. You guys ready for this? I'm going to take a big one, too. Big old butt. Okay. Girl, I bet. Can we just end this video right here? All right, Crystal tried this last night, and she didn't like it very much, so... But she likes the strawberry one, so I'll be buying her that one. Hey, out of girl, Crystal. Ready? Ooh, looks like baby food, baby. It is baby food, dude. That is essentially what it is. Food. Okay, here we go. I don't know if she likes it or not. Yeah. Of course, she's going to keep eating it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. You know what I think this is right now? Yeah. Taste buds change. I can tell you this. Four months ago, you put that in my face, I throw it in your face. But now, since I'm eating more healthy. <laughs> Girl, bye. And, I don't know. I guess my taste buds have changed. Because, honestly, I could eat this. Yeah.
Yeah. And I'm going to start buying it. Oh, my God. Crystal, how do you not like it? Well, <laughs> oh, my God. Let's all publicly shame Crystal. Was it? Was it the texture? I don't like peach, so I wouldn't fuck with it. She said it tasted funky. <laughs> I just don't like it. She just didn't like it. So if you guys like applesauce or whatever, you'll like definitely it. like this one. Well, no, not necessarily, dude. Oh, my God. She's so dumb. I recommend this. There are so many different flavors, and there's even a natural one. So, so maybe that's the one you should go with, dipshit. Sorry, sorry. I shouldn't call her names. I really shouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to eat my snack and look at the snow and hope the power doesn't go out. So, I hope it does. That's that. And again. I hope the power goes out and all the food goes bad and Amberlynn's fatter day is ruined. I do recommend this if you're trying to be healthy and you like snacks. This is what I deal with. All we did was touch a bag of chips. We didn't even eat any. She, well, at least she's cleanly. She's washing her hands. Crystal, explain. What it, actually, no, this is for all. Yes, I picked up a piece of the cheese. You picked up a piece of cheese? A cheese crumble? So you touched a chip and you had to wash your hands. Well, actually I washed them in the kitchen and then I threw it away <laughs> and I washed them again. Okay, I just lick my finger. That'd be it. That'd be done. That'd be it. So I kind of wanted to show... Ew. You guys, you know, some of my snacks. Did you do lick your fucking fingers? You feed the cats, do all that shit, and then you make your own food. I'm sure you don't wash your fucking hands. Um, they have to put them up as high as possible away from you? Yeah, I believe it. Obviously, fruit is in the um, refrigerator. I've already showed you guys that. So. Did you? Fruit and veggies, like carrots and stuff, sometimes that consists. Dude. It, it seems like carrots is all she's got. <laughs> of my snack, but I want to show carrots you. Carrots and spinach. Some other stuff. I have a lot of popcorn and some pretzels. So there's four bags of popcorn up there. Those big bags of cereal are Crystal's parents. Cereal. Yeah, I'm sure you touch them every now and then. And then this is just, I bought a thing of cheese balls. Um... Moderation, moderation. Yeah, sure. And How quickly did you eat them? And, um, we ate them. <laughs> it's not so bad because it's so big. But between the whole house, we ate them. Okay, girl. Um, Crystal's dad actually really liked them. So he would take them to work a lot of the time. But they got three new different types of chips. So we just mixed them in here for them because Crystal's dad does go to work. He's a hard-working man. Oh, how kind of you just to mix them all together for them. What the fuck are you talking about? Okay, that was scary. But, um, so he needs to take himself some, um, snack to work. And he likes to bring chips with his sandwich and stuff. And then over here we just have some of these, um, reduced fat crackers that I never touch because I don't really care for crackers, to be honest, so. Okay. Oh my god. And then we come over here. Across Dude, this isn't your house. What the fuck are you doing? Kitchen. And this is our main... She would never show off her own fucking living space like this. Our main snack place. So, I'll just go through everything. Why? Say if I eat it, if I don't, whose is it, why is it? Girl, you definitely eat everything here. Etc. So, we have one of these cheddar cheese um, popped Quaker thing. Those are very good for a snack or like a, um, like with a sandwich for lunch or something. They're only 90 calories. Great. Um, and we've had that bag for a while because we got a miscellaneous bag and the rest are gone. But for some reason, we still have a straggler holding on. <laughs> and then we have coconut Oreo fudge creams, which is my girlfriend's dad's. I have had one, not going to lie. Um, that was about... 60 calories, something around there, 60. Jesus, 60 calories for one of those, damn. Five, I don't know. Haven't touched them since. And then we have just. Well, I hope you wouldn't go touching other people's food. It's random little bars and stuff that are just stragglers from boxes that we used to have. 
This is a uh, Little Debbie cream cheese streusel that is my girlfriend dad's. I say girlfriend dad's and it sounds so weird when I say that. I don't know why. And then these three things are um, Weight Watcher snacks, which is mine and my girlfriend's. We have a coffee cake. We have a chocolate cream cake. And on the bottom, we have a lemon. Yeah, you just need all those, huh? So, um, we have one. You just have a little bit of everything. Those almost every night, just as like a, you know. Every night, girl. You know, a nice little snack at the end of the night. And then these are cookies of some sort. I have no idea what they're called. Oh, the fronts are here. Oh, my God. Boston cream pie, but those are Crystal Dad's. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds so funny. Wow, she finally for once called her by her fucking name, not my girlfriend. And then these are Fruit Thins Newton's Toasted Coconut. Those are mine, but those have lasted a very long time, so that's fantastic. Sure. And then this is a Cheddar Parmesan Trail Mix that I have occasionally a third. Occasionally. Um, The serving is one third of a cup. It's not much, so it's good to kind of have for a snack when you're hungry. So that's like our little snack area. And I guess if you want to see what's in here, I can show you that really quick. Please, for the fucking love of God, no. Knives. Boring. Onion. Incredible. Yummy. Why is this all the ways away from the kitchen? Teas. Fun. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. Potatoes and sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes are gross, but I like regular potatoes. So that's our little corner there. Girl, this is so fucking annoying. So, I mean, that wasn't that thrilling. I'm sure most of you don't even have any of this in your house. But like I said, I'm a believer in moderation. Just because there's a lot in front of my face does not mean I need to eat it. Or eat it all. Like I said, moderation. So this is the snow now. It's becoming pretty thick, so if this continues like it's supposed to, we might be getting a lot. Hey guys, I'm gonna end my vlog, um, just in case the power goes out. And plus, it's already three parts, and I have like no more room on this one, so I'm not gonna make it four parts. Thank you for the love of God. I'm so over this. <laughs> I could, but I'm not. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will definitely, definitely see you guys tomorrow if the power does not go out. But I'm thinking it won't. Let's just hope it won't. Anyways, I'll see you guys, and if you aren't smiling, smile. Bye. Oh my god, you guys. Well, this is definitely well over an hour again. Um, I don't have too much to say. I really don't. I'm going to let y'all do all the, the rest of the shit talking for me in the comments. But thank you so much for tuning in and for sticking around. I truly do appreciate it, you guys. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Like and subscribe. Become a channel member. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.